So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Now Carlos Hyde gears up to take the field again. The Omen's effort on that last drive. Seven carries, got the touchdown as well. And the O-line probably got a little extra oxygen on the sideline in between. And deservedly so, because they were also calling for him to continue to get the ball, because there's a rhythm that gets established, right? When you're running it well, and the back's getting the ball, and he's in sync and reading blocks, and the offensive line wants to continue to pound away. Haven't met an offensive lineman yet that likes to pass block more than he likes to run block. And that last drive, we saw the, the end result, didn't we? Yep, and all were rewarded with a trip to pay dirt. And on second and ten now. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. The Niners on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and ten. Here we go now. Garoppolo looks to throw. They go screen pass to Hyde. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker board? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> a gain of six there on first. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Attempt carry for Thomas Rawls. Finding some room at midfield. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Man, these guys may not win this ball game, but you certainly can't fault the effort of this man here today. He's been a real thorn in their sides all afternoon. And that last carry puts him over the 100-yard mark. Back to the ground on first. Again, it's Rawls. And down to the 36-yard line here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Now Wilson. They set up the screen to Rawls. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That'll go as a loss of five. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying it is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. 
So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Hurry up, here we go. Hurry up. Again, running right at time. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 12 yards there as they move the chains. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now let's go! They'll hand it off now. Williams looking for a seam but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And if you're the defense and those D tackles, you like that they're trying to run the football here against your 4-3, don't you? Yeah, because they tend to eat things up because they are so strong and physical, and especially when they play with leverage where they get lower than the offensive linemen and control them. And what I love about the good defensive tackles, they can play over the guards, they can slide and play over the center. Nobody in the offense likes that day when they have to deal with those guys. Now they go screen. It's complete. Fights off the defender. You give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. The screen was executed and completed, but where's the worry on the play? How many times is a quarterback going to get hit? Because offensive linemen have to do an acting job of making sure it looks like they're whiffing on blocks. But you got to slow them down a little bit, because if you don't, that's a lot of big guys coming at your quarterback in a big, fast way. And boy, he can get hurt. The Niners on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and seven. Now Garoppolo. Throw left side, caught by Goodwin. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on to punt for San Francisco. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. From the shotgun, Wilson. Going for the deep ball. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. The Seahawks on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. 
Here's John Ryan now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. On the NFL scoreboard, third quarter from Oakland. And as of now, it's the Raiders who have the lead in that one. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. And let's look at Carlos Hyde now. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Caught left side, Garcon. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but yeah. no yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They, they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and, you know, what you need to do? Sometimes you don't have to worry about that. That's just smart football. You know, that kind of a lead, staying in bounds, it burns clock, even in a situation that we're not really focused on it. From this vantage point, they've got the lead here, so for me, That'd be enough to go ahead and punt the football and let my defense defend the long field. If you go for it, you don't get it, then you really put your defense in a tight spot. Yeah, but we never know what people ultimately will decide to do here on fourth and inches. They'll run with a fullback. Use check. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. Give him two yards on that play, and they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. Hey, fourth and inches. Why let your quarterback try and sneak for it? Give it to the guys born to fight for those tough yards. It's a fullback dive, and he just makes sure he secures the football and then plows forward to pick up the first down. The toss play. This is high. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. And I give him four yards there. It'll be second and six third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now second down following the run now a handoff here's Williams trying to run inside but nothing there no gain on the play there so they're left with a third down and six so nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. The Niners on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This will be third and six. Let's go. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's a lot of contact going on there. And in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Oh, 
They stay on the ground. Rawls again. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Wilson now to throw on third down. Going to Rawls on the dump off. And he's out of bounds, but not before a big pickup that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. We have played three quarters. Back now in Seattle, Washington. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Fresh set of downs here. Now Wilson from the gun, he'll throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Graham. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. On second down, here's Wilson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. A good pick up there, 20 yards. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. And the Seahawks on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This time they face a third and two. They run with a power back. Rawls slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Oh, partner, that play brought back memories. Watching them string it out, letting the runner get all the way to the sideline area, but not letting him get out of bounds. They formed that picket fence and didn't allow him through. Not only that, got him for a loss as well here. And one of the reasons they lead in the fourth quarter, plays like that. Yeah, it took a little more time off the clock, making him do it that way, didn't they? Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And... We've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. Give them 12 yards on that one. It earns them a fresh set of downs. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay down. They're not in any rush offensively. Now high. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. I know we're in the era of wide-open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good day. 
Another tote for the afternoon workhorse. It's high. He had a great strong move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. First man through, it's the fullback use check. He had a great strong move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. The Niners on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and seven. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. And defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. And look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. Carry number 20 here for Hyde. Heck of a move and then brought down near the 23. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. I think this defense, tired of seeing him run the football, and this D-line probably getting sick of the O-line as well. And as I'm watching this, I'm thinking about a conversation I had with Adam Gase, the head coach of the Miami Dolphins in the offseason. He told me that he asked his running backs each week for their favorite runs. Give me your three top runs. And right now, you're seeing a guy that's probably using his top runs to great advantage in this game. He is in a zone. Now, I can't imagine any celebrations being any bigger than your first NFL touchdown. And this rookie running back is still seeking his. He's not going to get it on that play. And the play clock's running down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. It's a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's a six-yard pickup. It's still a few chain links short, it appears, with fourth down coming up. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. Play clock winding down. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. Delay of game, offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Still fourth down. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. Elsewhere across the league, fourth quarter action in Los Angeles. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Kirk Cousins with one touchdown pass thus far.
Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Even with that broken tackle, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here we go with second and seven. Here's Wilson operating from the gun. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. And the Seahawks on third down. Lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and seven. From the gun. Wilson. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. To throw again is Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there. And now it's second down. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. To throw is Wilson. Throwing again. His throw incomplete. The intended target, Doug Baldwin. Third down here. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. The Seahawks on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third and ten. A fake to Rawls. Now it's Wilson. Fighting through. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. The busy afternoon continues for Rawls. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. False start. Offense. And that'll set them back five. Second down, Wilson. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead, as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Operating from the gun, Wilson. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Luke Wilson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Seahawks are able to cut into that deficit. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I agree with you totally on that one. 
So now what do you do as it comes back to the seventh? I think you stick with your strategy. You've already told your team you're going for two. You dial up a different play. The only saving grace, a bit more room to operate if you're deciding to throw the ball especially. Wilson throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. And San Francisco gets set to go here. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. It's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes, get out of there. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. They are, by the way, into the fourth quarter now in Oakland. As of now, it's the Raiders who have the lead in that one. A win would be their second on the young season. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for San Francisco, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll return home next week to take on the L.A. Rams. Meanwhile, for Seattle, they'll fall to 1-1. One and one, And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Nashville. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Seattle, so long, everybody.